Hi, and welcome to Save Point, a show on YouTube where we talk about video games and topics that you send to us on YouTube, Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook using hashtag Save Point. I'm Michael Anthony. I'm Nick Rubio. I'm Ryan Shepard. And we have an incredible show, like we always do. So let's get it. Like Ryan. Alright, let's get it. Um, oversized topics. Massive topics. Jason O'Malley. You know who he is. Joe Malley. At Joe Malley, 6219189199. I don't know, do you think the hate filled criticism slash fan ranting online is driving future devs away from the gaming community? Yes. Or industry? Gaming? Yes. I absolutely think so. Yeah. Look at Phil Fish. That's different. Remember the fish. That's different. He, he was already wildly successful. Well, not even that. Not I mean, wildly. He wasn't not, wildly. Not, not, critically, not, not games gone wild. He got he got way more popular. Not financially, but critically, he got he got way more popular after the leaving than he did before. I think he 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 like killed himself. It was basically. pretty close. He had like he had probably like literally fifteen minutes. I mean, like fifteen minutes. Like wow, Fez is a good game, and he's like I'm having a nervous breakdown. Exactly. But he's pa if you've seen Indie Game the movie, you can see he is a passionate man. And that's what I think kind of drove him over the edge is that he was so passionate that mm -hmm. he just took everything so personally and he just internalized it. Not that I agree with what he did because I hate him so much for taking Fez away from me. I do. Right? Nicholas says, by I the way. I love Fez. Game of the year. <clears throat> you got no, it. Even, game of the year. Got game it. of this year, too, even though it came out last year. Yes. Game of the year. No, it came out two years ago. It came out in like 2012. Did it really? Yeah. Game of the year. Gotti, 2014. It came out 2013 Goaty. for PC. I don't understand that. So let's go. More. Wait, what? No, definitely. I mean, I think... That <laughs> more discussion! Is... Oh, I thought you said more. Like, like more next topic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, no, definitely. Like, like, like my... Um, you know, I don't know if I've ever said this before on, on camera, but my goal in life is to work in the games industry. I mean, I'm going to school right now for marketing, but I'm going to minor in that. And uh, word of the wise kids, if you want to make games, follow your passion, please have a backup plan. That's why I'm doing marketing because, let's say I can't get into video games, good thing every other company on the planet, no matter where you work, needs marketing. You know no, what I mean? don't do that. I, my, I, my advice is the exact opposite. My <laughs> Just get all of one degree. Look, my philosophy is, is if you thinking. give yourself a way out, <laughs> you will take the way out. Pressure follows the path of least resistance. My philosophy is sink or swim. If you want to do something, you throw yourself into it 100 million thousand percent. And if you fail, you do it again until you die. <laughs> sink or swim. Yeah, unfortunately, school's really expensive. Sink or swim. If you live in the United States, education, post, post, you know, secondary education, when we're talking college, is very expensive. And then if you live in other countries, there are plenty of countries all around the world that don't even have free education the way the United States does. You know what I mean? Send they have to pay to go to Michael high school. Michael, your death threats now. That's what I'm saying. So pressure him out of the community. Sorry, guys. Just do it now. Uh, threaten to kill me and my family and my future wife and kids. Do that now, and then that will stop me from becoming a developer in the future. No, but it is, it is kind of sad because I think a lot of people are like, I don't even I don't even want to have that on me. You know what no, I mean? Yeah. A lot of the, a lot of the, the artsy fartsy part of developing, mm -hmm. like those people are very internalized people, very, you know, mm -hmm. they, they're yeah. not external people. Yeah. And so that stuff is terrifying to them. You know, yeah. they don't yeah. deal with people anyway. So You're fact, absolutely right. the idea of, of people, them making something and putting it out in the world and it being their passion and having somebody say, the fucking, the, why is there a pineapple in the barrel? Yeah. You yeah. know, like, did you, you not see the, the sky and the, and the angels raining from the sky mm. stabbing Diablo? Exactly. You know what I think I another miss, problem like, is? It's yeah. like, is, 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 it's like leak culture. Like, if you think back, like, okay, when, when Picasso was painting his paintings, no one saw them until they were already done and out there. Mm -hmm. But now, during the whole process of the art they're creating, it's being thrown out there and bits are being taken away. Yeah. And people are seeing this unfinished product and being heavily critical of something that's maybe not even an eighth way done. Okay. Not even an eighth. I know this is going to be a little... This is a great example of what you're talking about, mm -hmm. but it is not specifically related to video games. Okay. As you know here... Uh, on, on Save Point, I love me some Superman. I love me some yes. DC Comics. I love it. I'm not going to lie. And people are incredibly critical of the upcoming Batman vs. Superman movie. Okay? With Jesse Eisenberg cast as Lex Luthor and Ben Affleck as, right. as Batman. You know, all these things that people are like, well, obviously, 
This this movie's gonna be bad. It's obviously gonna be bad. They judge I've the never, parts for the whole. Basically, they, they judge they judge the cast, and the, they don't know what the script says. Mm. They don't know what the budget is. They don't know all the people who are working behind the scenes. Yeah. They don't know you know what direction he's gonna take with it. They know nothing except for this bit, these handful of nuggets of information, and they don't agree with all of them. And because they don't agree with all of them, it's obvious that the rest of it is bad. Right. Mm. You know, and, and if you've done anything creative in your life, if you've written anything, especially if you write, is you will know that the part of creating, the process of creating, is the most sensitive part. Mm -hmm. So while you're creating something, that is when you're the most vulnerable. Your self scrutiny is like at peak high, and then you have all these other people coming in telling you that you should die. Yeah, this is so bad you shouldn't live. Exactly, or your family, or your genetic line. I mean, and, it, and it's and it's like really bad when. It, it affects developers in a super negative way. Like, I know the guy who made one of my favorite games ever, Metroid Prime. Mm -hmm. He thinks that game was awful. He thinks that what they put out, Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2, and then, you know, Corruption, those were the god awfulest things that ever has ever existed. Which a lot of people do not agree with. Yeah. yeah. People love those games. And he's the head developers. And, you know, and I feel like that uh, people are, they're, they're already so heavily scrutinized mm -hmm. so that, you know, if, if, if they were to already see... You know, Metro Prime came out, and it wasn't the success that it was, and, you know, it, maybe it wasn't what people thought it should have been. And it got, you know, so heavily scrutinized, and people told them that uh, their game sucked, you know, mm -hmm. emailing them, going to lengths to go out and buy stamps, which people yeah. don't do. Go out and buy stamps to write a letter to these people to ask them to stop living. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the other games wouldn't have existed, you know? Like, the, I, I you know, it, it's... It's too easy, it's too quick. Like, you could be in a bad mood, say you had a bad day, and you don't like the direction, like, a project you actually care about is going in, you're like, I'm just gonna say something really shitty because it'll provide some sort of emotional catharsis to me. To yeah. be shitty to someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think I think the only, the only redeeming thing about the games industry is the fact that usually teams are so massive mm -hmm. that for the majority majority you know when you talk about indie developers you know people know if i focus on phil fish he's the guy yeah i can just get phil fish but name someone who's well, on well, the bioware art team right of course you know what I mean? yeah it's not impossible to get that information that's why just beat the game and look at the credits the but guy. yeah but normally that that hate is focused on such a small sect of people right you know the community big managers the, the big names like, yeah. Yeah, like the community the managers the executive producers it's the, the directors it's the video the game it's exactly. the face of the, the community yes. it's the video game equivalent of a figurehead it's it's where all the aggression is targeted towards mm -hmm. unfortunately mm -hmm. you know but i mean they they only have so much say you know god you know they they probably maybe they didn't think that the game was they didn't want it to go in this direction but the the producers EA or whatever exactly. yeah. you know we're like there's no, so many things no you we, can't we want for. we want to take this and do it this way you know there there's so many games where I I, mm -hmm. I hear things and I see things and I'm just like and this is what we wanted to do but this is what we ended with you yes. know and so, we've probably missed out on a lot of great games because of this honestly oh but, definitely yeah. and I think I think Ojima Girl three and I think we can all say, I think we can all say that when it comes to people who hate on games and hate on game developers, uh, shut the hell up because you don't have the right to, to hate on them. They worked on the product, and if you don't like it, mm -hmm. don't pay, don't buy don't, it. Don't buy it. Okay, but there's a difference between honest criticism, like you exactly honest, honest, criticism. honest, constructive criticism. But we G going go okay, die. We is are not honest. Criticism. We are gamers. We are gamers. If we're going to be honest, there's very little honest constructive criticism. A lot of it is just hate because that's the culture in which you know we're used to. That's just how mm -hmm. people act on the internet that's how people act in games it's unfortunate but you know demand better communities write to your senators write to you okay <laughs> write to your trolls that's what i'm saying wait what F don't feed the trolls don't feed them feed them feed don't them feed them after midnight yeah, don't, feed don't them get them wet <laughs> Feed them Mars. What are they? Fucking gremlins? Yeah. Ma Ma Mogwai. Mogwai. <laughs> Mogwai. They turn into Whoa. gremlins. Oh, God. That was a good movie, all right? That was a great movie. All, all right. right. <clears throat> Gremlins Ryan, 2, the new batch. Ryan, Faroki? 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 Hi? Faroki? Faroki. I think it's Faroki. That sounds Rhino funny. Balls. I like that better. That's At his, Rhino Balls. That's, that is his Twitter handle. Also, he actually has a really cool YouTube channel Does where he, he has a collectibles. It's all collectibles that figures will make sense and stuff in, like that. That will make sense in like five seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, check it out. I'll put a link in like an annotation thing. Ah, right. Hashtag save one. What are your thoughts on the Titanfall Collector's Edition? Price, what you get, don't get with it, etc. Um, 
This is very personal to me because I did get the collector's edition, and it is worth every goddamn cent because if anybody who collects statues knows, uh, an 18-inch statue uh, that has LEDs in it for 250 is unheard of. Uh, yeah! It it's is. expensive. It's unheard of. Okay, you get the game, you get art book mm -hmm. that by itself is like forty five bucks. Right. The course. game, which is fifty bucks, mm -hmm. a poster. Who gives you know? We don't care. Yeah. Whoa, we love posters on Save Point. Poster, a, a, a seal of authenticity, because there are people with bootleg Titanfall statues apparently, and uh, an eighteen foot statue that's like this high. 18 foot? You, 18 know, you, should do, you should do an unboxing there video. There will be a future video link here. From the future. From, from the future. future. From the f can, we, can we all... Like annotation? All? Like, can I frame it here? I want it... Is up, this right? No, right? Okay, I want it here. What? No, no, no there. I'm not all gonna... Right. I, I, I don't know. If, you better put the annotation because I'm not moving it around. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't got the time for it's that. It's gonna be like a hundred annotations. That's just... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think it is completely worth it because... Uh, okay, in retrospect... Okay. There are there was a statue featured on Kotaku recently, the Doom guy. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. the, the the famous cover where he's shooting demons coming out of the sludge. You know that thing is about of the bowl size, about the size of this bowl. Mm -hmm. Four hundred dollars. Ooh, that's rough. Four hundred dollars. There are statues that if you go into any comic shop in America that sells collectible statues, oh, really you cannot expensive. get a fucking statue for less than four hundred. There's a there was a, there's a comic book shop where we live, and them? they had a really nice Thanos. It was, it was about three hundred. Is it? Was it just the chest up? Yeah, that's yes. boss. I'd buy it's that. So good. You seen it? I think it is. I think I have. And it's just like the chest up. There's no, it's, you know. But that's the point. That I saw a really right. good Hulk too. Did you? It was like a, it was like Hulk, and he was on like a, a, a stretch of street that was all torn up and all ripply muscled and stuff. Yeah, and, and those. I mean, I I I, I get the collection edition because I love statues. I collect my own statues, you know, and I feel like those are like the best deals you can get. Because it yeah. comes with the game, it comes with the game you're already gonna buy, mm -hmm. and I would like to have the statue that I'm getting at a discounted price. Yeah. People, people only see it for a while. You're just you're getting a, you're paying a game and getting a statue. But if you don't collect statues, it means nothing to you. Yeah. Like I have my Alduin. You're my either songbird, about it or you're not. My songbird, my fucking uh, Ed, no, Connor. That's his name. You about that life? They're not, they're not gonna respond. Why to you. is there so much silence? They are not gonna respond to you. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, if you like collector's editions, go and for it. And it's like the size of this table. The yeah, thing is, 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 it is pretty big. My feelings, honestly, that since you don't get anything with a disc anymore, collector's editions are the way to go. Like, if you want something physical, it's it's the disc alone isn't much. That's not. You don't even get like a cool manual anymore. You don't. We you don't know yet. We don't know for Titan Day. Maybe they fucking. Maybe. Maybe. Bring him back the manual. Hashtag I'd, game changer. I'd fucking. All right, guys. That's our first hashtag this video. That it, we've it, mentioned. It's gonna get Instagram to the manual later. Hashtag I was eight. Yeah, that was that. Classic. Okay. Um, Hashtag classic. <laughs> this is uh this is actually on Tumblr and this is from an anonymous gentleman. An anonymous gal. yes person. Don't be don't be ashamed. Okay. And on possible pros and cons of Pokemon for the Wii U. Now. Okay. It's vague. It's very vague. It, it is very vague. Mm -hmm. Now let's assume we're talking. Like a Pokemon X or a Pokemon Y type game mm -hmm. on the Wii U. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like full that. 3D world? Full 3D world. I'd love that. There's no con in that. There's nothing I, wrong there's with that. There's no con in that. I, my biggest qualm with it would be the, the fact that you're always so used to like taking your Pokemon yes. with you, you know? So like if it's full 3D, like like not like top down over like it was. No. Like 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 I'm talking, I'm talking like Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. That, battles, that's what I want. And you're running like, around and you're going to Route Five because that's the only place you can catch a rat attack. Can you? Ma oh god, this first, is so cool. Oh, first Picture this. Pokemon Picture this. Ready? Like, first no, 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 Skyrim. No. Not first person. I want it to be Just over the ball. shoulder, like Just Resident show. Evil. Like Resident Evil style, over the shoulder Pokemon. That would be so cool. Yeah. You have to like climb every like like the actual like. You have to like actually jump the ledges and shit exactly. like that. Like that would be yeah. cool. And then when like you get your bike, you're like, "Whoa, this is so much better!" It's never gonna happen. It'll never. Uh, happen. It'll never happen. I think, never happen. I think it could save the console. It could. Here's the thing. Here's actually where how many people bought a 3ds or a 2ds for Pokemon. Let's be real. Actually, that's on my everybody, that's, on, every, that's on my budget. That's on my plan. That's what I plan on. Everybody doing. who owns a 3ds, one hundred and forty dollar Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon machine. Exactly. That's what they call the two DS. Is it one hundred forty? It is. So, yeah, it's one hundred forty. Without, without um, So, so the thing is, 
Uh, I think it does have some cons, actually, now that I do think about it. Mm-hmm. One of the pros is if you've been playing your Pokemon X and Y, you know about Wonder Trading. And with Nintendo's... It just would be online. Here's just... the thing. You know, with Nintendo's very bare minimum online services... Wonder trading would be very easy to do, okay? But I feel like if it went to that, if they went to that length to produce that game, mm-hmm. they would put the infrastructure behind it, and it would be. I feel that's fully like, realized. I, I don't think they would. I think that would be the only con is that the online is just garbo. I don't think it would be it was, well put together. Why was be, there never just, like a, a Sonic equivalent of Mario Kart? What do you mean? Like a multiplayer, like actually fun multiplayer Sonic game that you could play with like, you know, four or five people. I'm pretty sure there was. All-Star Racing. Yeah, there was Sonic All-Star Racing. They made Yeah, they put them in cars. (laughs) I don't understand. You have a hedgehog who can run really fast. Why'd you put him in a vehicle? (laughs) Um, What do they they call him? Um, uh, uh, Mouse Squeak. You didn't see the the, the British guys who, like, the, the, how Sonic got created? It was like the British guys. Fuck, what did they call it? was some comedy skit. It was, okay. it was, Don't it was, watch them, watch our video. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it, 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 basically the inception of uh, okay. Sonic the Hedgehog and how it was a bunch of British guys in a boardroom with a thing and they're like, we need to come up with an animal, everything's been made! T- <laughs> Tetris! Pong! Pong with different colors! And they're like, what yeah. about a hedgehog? Needle Mouse. Needle Mouse. Mr. Needle Mr. Mouse. Mr. Needle Mouse. Mr. Needle Mouse. That is what yes. they called him. Like, they basically built the universe of, of, of Sonic the Hedgehog. They're like, like oh, what, what's the opposite of a porcupine? Um, an egg. An egg. <laughs> a, a red egg. Well, how is he going to fight an egg? <gasps> they gave him arms. Egg man. Yeah. And they drew a mustache on him. Yeah, mustaches are evil. Uh, yeah. what, what else does he need? He needs something. He's not. How, how is he? How we're gonna do have to post the fast? links now so people know what we're. How does he know he's fast? And they draw like a little like poof behind him. And then, <laughs> what else does he need? Um, Boots. MJ shoes. <laughs> MJ. Michael Jackson shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and they had like an argument like Michael Jackson. Anyway, funny video. Um, I don't know. If Just like any, the rest of ours. Yes, I don't know if there's any if there's any cons to that. I really don't. If there's a full fledged Pokemon game on the Wii U, I don't think there is a con. Um, the fact that it's not con because I'd have to buy a Wii U. There would be a con because I'm sure they would insist on using the later generation of Pokemon, which mm-hmm. I think, as someone who grew up with Pokemon, as Pokemon has gone on, it's gotten more and more ridiculous. I don't think so. I, you know what? Somebody said, somebody put it to me in a very... Isn't there a broom? No, not yet. There's a Pokemon that is a set of keys. Yes. Well, no, it's it's no, no, no. keys. He steals keys. He's a he's a ring Pokemon, but he steals people's keys. But yes, he's a set of keys. No, the mo- you can't even bring up the most ridiculous one. The most ridiculous is the ice cream cone. That's yes. the most ridiculous one. No, the most ridiculous one is the garbage. Bag of garbage. Yeah. Well, okay, come on. Yeah, I think. We, we had some pretty ridiculous Pokemon the first gen. We just didn't... We don't see them as ridiculous. No. The ridiculous- Grimer... Grimer, he's just Muck? like looking. Mu- so what? That Muck? Is, no, that has existed. That's in better in in Dungeons and Dragons lore and stuff like that. Like like uh, uh, animated in uh, sentient ooze. And that's Staple better. For that's better than ooze. the one that are like cogs. There's a bunch of cogs. Yeah, they have like produce. one eye. It's just I would hit the unknown Pokemon. Uh, the executor, down. the eggs with the crack in it. So what? The man? palm tree Pokemon. Yeah. What? What? You're thinking yeah. of his head were coconuts. Execute, and then he evolves into Executor. Ain't nothing wrong with Ex-ecutor. that. Executor. If you're trying to play on Sporkle, yeah. Yeah. you gotta make sure you spell it right. <laughs> I miss Digimon. Yeah, seriously, what happened? To that? A uh, Monster Digimon, Rancher. Digital Monster, Do you remember Digimon the Monster the Rancher game? Yes, Monster. That you Monster had to, you put different discs in your system, uh-huh. and it would it would take the the skew of the disc and turn it into a monster. I that that's a PlayStation One game, and I've never seen any other game ever use something like that. That was the coolest fucking thing ever. You know why nobody else used that? Because mm. nobody probably bought that. Game. That was a fucking great game, Monster Rancher. I remember all these things, and Pokemon beat them all to death. How? How was Pokemon the pure, lone survivor? Pure attrition. Just, <laughs> just they're all starting. Wear them to, down. Yep. Just wait it out. We got the food. We got the money. Just sit, <clears throat> sit patiently. They ruined Digimon though. Got dumb. Oh, yeah. Like it's like, still going on. Like t- really? It's, yeah. It's still uh, going on. Towards the later seasons, it's like still going okay, on. okay. Towards the like the later seasons, like the fourth or fifth one, they started becoming the Digimon. What? Like Digimon weren't even a thing. Like they just had a device that like gave them like armor and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? I, what? I'm not precise, but yeah, they, they they like either combined with Digimon or they themselves were just like in suits or something. I remember the Digimon movie. It's okay, fucking. Um, uh, War Greymon, Black War Greymon. War Greymon. That's the one where it's like all oh, bones and stuff, or is that Black yeah. Skull Greymon? I believe. I remember uh, in the movie, and it starts off, and it's like 
Everybody's on the computers. Everyone's on the computer. No, but the movie starts. The movie starts and it's raining. And then what was the red T Rex looking one with the oh horn Graymon? Graymon. Gray, was it Graymon? Yeah, Graymon. Graymon and Gray and Graymon is fighting another Digimon in the middle of a city. Yes. And they're just tearing the buildings up and nobody's around. Nobody's there to see that except the kids. Except yeah, except, except the, the kids. kids. His, his uh, the Kylie and I forget what the fucking. Kid what was is that? No one else could see them. It's, it's so well, they're screwing up it the was, buildings. It was some shit. Like Started to make activity. It was some shit. Okay. Like Thank you for joining us for Save Point. Um, tell us what you think your favorite Digimon is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good luck. Um, what's a Digimon? Out of the I was what born, is a Digimon? I was of, born in the year two thousand. Out of the four Digimon that there are, tell us your favorite. Right. Um. No. Uh. Let us know. God. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, do you think that favorite collector's edition? Do you have, yeah, what's your favorite collector's edition? Also, do you feel that we've lost some good games because of unnecessary crazy yes. internet troll them? Tell us, tell us anything. What, what 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 has to be in a collector's edition for you to get it? Okay, good. That's a good aside one. Aside from the game, what needs to be in a collector's edition for you to buy? Like aside this video. From, aside from the game, if you press the like button, I will be less sad. Exactly. And he has lots of sad to go around. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs>